Hey y'all, hope everyone is doing well. So today I'm putting together an order for board sort to sell some of my e-waste. Right here we've got a bunch of gold ram. We sell for $24 a pound. Shielded ram. These sell for $9.50 a pound. You can go to the trouble to try to remove these shields. But sometimes what happens is there's glue on it and some of these chips will get pulled up. So I just sell these as shielded ram. And then they also have silver ram. You can see there's silver there instead of gold. Those are $9.50 a pound. And then they have a category for blank ram. You can see there's no chips or nothing on there. These sell for $2 a pound. Over here, we've got CD-ROM boards, and these sell for $5.10 a pound. And then these are CPUs with no pins on them. $6.25 a pound for those. And these are gold-fingered cards, and these sell for $4.90 a pound. There will be an aluminum heat sink that you have to remove, and sometimes a fan, and then sometimes a metal bracket. If you don't remove those, you'll get downgraded. They do have a category for that, but it's really easy to just remove that. And so $4.90 a pound for that. And then we've got some IC chips here, some various sizes, and these sell for $8 a pound. Then I've got this really nice Intel Pentium. Look at the gold on that. These sell for $46 a pound. Woo-wee! And then we've got flat pack with a gold corner. And these sell for $15 a pound. But don't get them confused with flat pack with no gold corner. Yes, there's a little bit of gold corner right there. But you can see... That's a much more significant piece of gold. And plus this has a plastic cap on it where these don't. These only sell for $2 a pound, $15 a pound. So make sure you identify them correctly. And then we have this style, but they have pins. And these are a P4 green fiber with metal. And these sell for $8. 75 a pound right now and then we have a non-sata hard drive board and these sell for $14.25 a pound these have pins in there that's what makes them that's how you can identify them as non-sata the regular sata they're more just like a flat finger almost like so 14.25 a pound so what i like to do is I use the United States Post Office. I like to grab the large flat rate box. So I can put up to 70 pounds of stuff in here and this costs I think $25 in shipping. There are other options as far as shipping if you live in an area where you can do that and so you can get a bigger box and ship it. So you can ship motherboards or server boards. But for me, I can only use the post office so Whatever I can fit inside of here is what's getting shipped today. So I'm going to go through and show you how to put together an order, to box it up, do the stuff on the computer, and get everything to go. Goldfinger Ram. These sell for $24 a pound. So that is the first thing that I want to get inside the box. Okay, so all those gold ram sticks fit in there perfectly, so this is wonderful. Now, when you put together an order, it's very important that you separate each category, especially with ram, because, so we got the gold ram, we got some shielded ram, and we got some silver ram. Board sort has a category called mixed ram. So if I just put all my stuff in here, the shielded, and then all of the silver together like that, even though 
if I put in the computer, I'm selling gold RAM, shielded RAM, silver RAM, but I have it in the box like this, they're just going to call this mixed RAM. They don't have the time to sort all of this stuff out. That is on us to do that. So, I like to use paper bags. That way on their end, they can just recycle this easier than using plastic bags. So I've got the gold shielded RAM inside here. So now I can place this in my box. And I will be marking that bag with shielded RAM when we get to that point. But right now I'm just trying to figure out what will fit in this box. And so now I'm going to do the same with the silver RAM to keep it separated. Now I got my silver RAM in there. So since there's some space still on the bottom of the box, I think I'm going to bag up these no pin CPUs. And there they are. We still got a space right here. So I think I will grab the P4 green fiber with metal. And that's these ones with the pins on it. The other ones were no pins. And there is that package. Now, what I like to do just for to make things quick and easy for them, I will write on this bag with a Sharpie gold finger ram, and then I will place it over the top. That way they'll know we have one category and then we have all these individual bags. So everything is nice and separated. So the hard drive boards, they sell for $14.25. So that's the next thing that I want to get inside of this box. I almost forgot to add these little short RAM sticks. Okay, I went ahead and put the hard drive boards in bags to keep them separate. Now, I'm going to stack up some CD-ROM boards in here. Now that's about as high as I'm going to go because I want to leave a little bit of room for some packing material. And make sure you never send those styrofoam peanuts. Try to use paper packing. I want to make sure I get this, this chip in there because these are $46 a pound. Now there's a gap right here so I don't want to waste that space. And so I think I will add some IC chips because they're small, but they're $8 a pound. Okay, so I got a little bit of room over here. So now I'm going to package up these gold corner flat packs, also sometimes called gold corner BGAs. And I forgot that I had these. So we have a brown one, and then we have green one, and they both have pins on them. These are brown green fiber, no metal, and these are $17 a pound. So I want to stick those right there. And that's pretty good. That leaves me a little bit of room to put some packing material on there just to keep everything nice and tight. The corner of these boards can be kind of sharp and they'll cut through the box. So I try to package it in a way where there's not much wiggle room for this stuff to be sliding around, making a mess. So now that I have everything inside here that is gonna go in this shipment, I'm gonna pull everything out and I'm gonna weigh each, each individual category. Oh, hey, y'all. I just wanted to interrupt what we we're doing real quick. If you live near Alliance, Ohio, that is where board sort is located, you can physically go there and bring your e-waste to them. You do not have to ship it to them. 
if you are within driving distance. So that just is an option that I wanted to let you know. For you Canadian folks, it's a little bit more challenging because of customs and the shipping costs to ship stuff to the States. But my buddy Dan from Nice Junk, he has a board sort series from Canada. And I will link that playlist in the description. He recently just shipped in an order to board sort and everything worked out smoothly and he's already gotten his money. So make sure you check out that series if you're up in Canada. And then one last thing, I just want to say thank you, eWaste Mike, for all of the help that you've given me. You've taught me so much about eWaste. You've been so kind and generous with your time in answering all my questions. I just thank you, buddy, so, so very much. Y'all should go check out eWaste Mike. I will put a link to his channel in the description of this video. He's a great guy, so very helpful. Again, thank you, Mike. I really greatly appreciate all of the help you've given me and your friendship. All right, let's get back to the action. Okay, so now it is time to pull everything out and weigh it up. So I'm going to start with the CD-ROM boards. And that comes out to two pounds, six ounces. So I'll go ahead and mark that on my piece of paper. And then I'll just go through each individual package. All right, y'all. So now we're going to go to boardsort.com and you will need to register if you wanna sell through them. We are gonna to go to sales menu. This is where we're gonna go and we are going to sell scrap. So now I'm just gonna go item by item that I have written down. So the first one, we need to find the CD-ROM boards. There is CD-ROM boards, $5.10 a pound. And this is where I will enter in I have two pounds, six ounces. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom here, you will see this is where your order is getting placed. So two pounds, six ounces of CD-ROM boards, five, 10 a pound. So that's $12.11. And that'll just continue to add up as we enter in more and more of what we have. So next to my list is shielded RAM. So we got gold fingered shielded RAM and I have one pound, three ounces. While I'm here, I am going to enter in my gold finger RAM at 24 a pound and I have four pounds, three ounces of gold finger RAM. And then silver tin RAM, I have 10.3 ounces. Now we want to go back up and look for uh, hard drive boards. Hard drive grade non-SATA, and that's what I have. And I have one pound, 12 ounces. We are going to go to no pin CPU, and I have one pound, 4.2 ounces. I just forgot. I actually have three sticks of slot processors. And if you see, slot processor sells for $18 a pound. And I have three and a half ounces of that. And I have some IC chips. I have 11.8 ounces. I have some green brown fiber no metal and i have 2.7 ounces of that and then i have some p4 green fiber with metal and i have 13.4 ounces and i have flat pack gold tab and i have 8.25 ounces and I got one more thing to enter, and that is the Pentium Mac Ceramic. 
that is what I have. $46 a pound. And that weighs 1.05 ounces. Now we're going to scroll to the bottom and we are going to confirm. So it says I have 13.95 pounds of material and the total payout is $194 minus the $25 for the shipping so it's about $170 profit not bad at all but I just want to now go item by item and make sure that I have everything entered in properly okay so I have confirmed that I've entered in all my numbers correctly so now we're going to sell this material and again it gives you your list of everything and then it'll give you an option you can get paid via PayPal or a check by the mail. I just go with the check and we will submit the sale. And so the time and date of this request was at 326 at 330 Eastern time. This quote will no longer be considered valid after 331. So you want to get it in the mail as soon as possible because prices can change depending on the markets. Okay, so now we're here. We've confirmed everything. And this is when you can just right click and press to print and print out two copies, one for yourself and then one that goes in the box. Now it's time to put this package together one last time. Okay, I got all that RAM in there. Now I'm gonna cover that up and I just have it labeled gold RAM. And then all the rest of the RAM, I put it in this bag just to keep it all contained. Okay, I got everything boxed up here. So now that we've got this all together, before I box this up, we gotta place our order. Once you finish placing your order, you're going to print out an invoice. That invoice has to go in this box. Otherwise, it's going to be extremely difficult for them to identify this package. All right, y'all. So, got everything ready. So, wouldn't you know it, my printer decided to stop working, but no big deal. You can just write out all the items on a piece of paper, and that's what I've done here. And I like to include my name and my username for the website along with my email address and the invoice number for this order. I also went ahead and wrote that same information, the invoice number, my username, and my email address on this flap of the box. Once you ship this package, you're going to get a tracking number and you need to make sure you email that tracking number to chris at boardsort.com. So I got the invoice in there and then I got a little bit of packing paper here. Just, and there is the package all ready to go. I used this black Gorilla Tape just to, first I used packing tape and then I put Gorilla Tape all around the edges just to give it a little extra security. This is ready to go. So I thank you all so much for watching. I plan on doing more e-waste videos in the future. If there is something that you would like to see me make or know more about an e-waste, let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up as it does help the video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd ask that you consider to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, God, for a wonderful day. God, thank you for e-waste. Lord, thank you for helping us to recycle, to take care of these precious metals that you have blessed us so kindly with, Lord. Help us to be better stewards to this earth that you have given us, Lord. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for the sunshine. I thank you for everything that you're doing in my life and in the lives of others, God. I just pray for them all now, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.